Welcome to my unboxing and first look at Intel's Core i3-3220. So a Core i3-3220, I know Intel's part numbers can be a little bit hard to decipher, but the most important thing in this part number is that 3 right at the beginning, because that means this is a Core i3, a low-end processor, that is based on their third generation Ivy Bridge architecture. Now, in the enthusiast space for the 3570K and the 3770K, there have been some complaints that the IGP, um, is, or rather the IPC improvements, so how many, uh, how much performance per clock we're getting compared to the previous generation Sandy Bridge, is offset by the lower overall clock speeds that can be achieved in overclocking. However, with these lower end processors, based on that Intel's introducing them at equivalent price points compared to the Sandy Bridge i3s and i5s that are being replaced, putting in better integrated graphics, which means faster video transcoding and, well, better graphics if you're actually running games off of the GPU that's built into the CPU, and the fact that we're getting about a 10% clock for clock performance increase, I think it's pretty much a no-brainer. If you're building a low-end machine, you want Intel inside, then you know, don't go with the last generation 2000 series. Go with the new generation Ivy Bridge chips because since there was no overclocking on the previous generation i3s or the new generation i3s, you just want all the performance you can get out of it and at stock speeds and stock voltages, they run extremely cool. Inside the box, you get the CPU itself, which is an LGA 1155 CPU compatible with pretty much every LGA 1155 chipset out there that's modern. So your Z77, your B75, um, your H... H70, H, whatever it is, I don't know, okay, LJ1155 socket. Uh, here, Slick is helpfully handing us an LJ1155 socket motherboard, which he is about to install the CPU on, so I'll save, save him the trouble. We'll do a quick CPU installation guide. Make sure you line up the notches with the notches, and then carefully pull down the arm. No, we're not doing that. You'll have to do that. And then uh, you would normally, okay, there's bolts running through this motherboard for an aftermarket cooler, but uh, you'd normally use one of these, which is also included with the sticker and the three-year warranty and the box. Thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.